What's up guys? This is Melissa here. Today is going to be a different kind of video where I'm showing you my makeup collection. I'm using this Sony A6000 camera to do this. So the sound quality is not going to be as great but I will try and not to be too shaky and speak clearer. Just to show you this is my dressing table on top of a um, chest of drawers that I bought from IKEA with the mirror and Hollywood lights on the side and before I show you let's put this to the side this is my husband's corner the only space he gets from me and here look at this perfumes he owns more perfumes than me so I guess you know who smells more <laughs> and okay let's move on to my table here this is my mirror that I use to do uh, makeup well close-up and the big one is mainly for you know hair and stuff and we're just gonna start from this side from the back this is my uh, Clinique makeup brush cleanser which is great. I use this to clean the smaller brushes every day um, because I'm too lazy to clean the big ones and they take so long to dry. And this is my Bobbi Brown um, Hydrating Face Tonic um, Water. This here is my um, Urban Decay Oil Control uh, Makeup Setting Spray which I don't use anymore and it's really old so I probably need to get rid of it. <laughs> This is my um, newest addition to my collection, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, um, which I thought I would try it out because my Makeup Forever HD powder is running out. And this one here in the middle is Bobbi Brown Face Base. These drawers here, uh, before I forget, are from Muji here in London. I, they come in different sizes, heights and widths and all sorts and they're really great. I only decided to get two. Let's just start in this first drawer is where all my powders are and my blushes. These two are from Bobbi Brown and they last so long like I haven't actually made a dent in it. But uh, so that's why I, I only got owned three of them. And here is my um, uh, Mac Prep, Prep and Prime finish uh, well, finishing powder, um, which is okay, not as good as the loose powders I've got here. And this one is the Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing powder in medium number two. This is almost oh my god, not bad break this almost finished but I still actually got a long way to go because you don't really use a lot of it usually I think I broke it okay anyway I've got a new one this one is the Bobbi Brown press powder in warm natural I've got a new one but I bought the wrong color uh, but it's okay because um, it's just powder and it doesn't really make my face much lighter and the second drawer is just my hair stuff like hair bands and clips and um, some of my eyelashes are in here this is uh, one of my favorite brushes which I don't have a space for so I just place it here it's really short so it wouldn't be able to go in my pot so let's just start with my foundation I only got two here as you can see this is the max studio fix in nc30 i used this face and body foundation during the summer when i've got a tan because when it's hot i don't really want to wear a lot of foundation and here are my two favorite um strip lash adhesive so eyelash glue in white clear and black and here I've also got two concealers in NC25 and NC20 that I really like to use 
and on this side I've got all of my pencils, eye pencil, eyebrow pencil, MAC and all sorts of brands. Nothing particular. This eyeliner that I got from Hong Kong is really amazing. It's like waterproof and really intense black and on this side here I've got all of my lip liners from um, MAC to Lancome, NYX uh, and Kiko. As you can see here I've got my MAC lipstick collection that starts from lighter like light pink, nude to the darker color. Here is my Chanel collection. Um, I only own eight, like all eight. I just wanted to buy them to fill the space here. This one is my it's like an orangey red. I'm not very pigmented but it's still very nice. So I'm not going to show you all of the colors that I own. I think it might be my favorite one. This one is Please Me. I actually own two of them because I really like it. It's like a pink but not too pinky. See, I'm really bad at just like describing colors. And let's go down here in the four little drawers here. On this first one I've got all of my pots ranging from not using at all sometimes and most used is my brush on cream liner by Clinique in a true black um, that I use with this, uh, let me find it, MAC 2110, no 210, here's my Anastasia dip brow pomade in a dark brown which I use with this brush, uh, this is the MAC 208 that works really really well and here some glitter that I don't even use at all but it's still in here on this side I've got all of my mascaras and some eyeliners that I don't use this one is by Dior and it's not waterproof so it doesn't last as long and I don't really use it the Lorac Cobra mascara which is also great this is really great because it actually works but my eyelashes are too short it's still not long enough and I got used to wearing um, false lashes so it's easier for me to do than trying to apply mascara and build up. And on here are all of my cream, not my cream, all of my other lipsticks. Um, the I have a collection of uh, soft uh, matte lip cream that I really really like and they're really cheap and last pretty long. I've also got some lip gloss. I don't use lip gloss a lot, um, but if I ever fancy, I will have them here ready. And on the last one, it's just my random stuff like my eyelash curler. This one is by Shiseido and I really love this one. It's going to last me forever. This is the Travel Size Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer which I love and I wish they make this size only because I have never finished the bigger tubes that they sell. Here are some eyelash glue as well by Duo and some scissors and tweezers and all the stuff that I don't always use. And here are my brushes, small to large, all kind of brushes, mainly from um, MAC. This one like a blush brush oh god why doesn't it focus this is 116 for example and then some powder and I've also got Sigma brushes and um, other brands that I like and actually use every day like Lancome um, to blend and it's probably dirty <laughs> and um, here are just my ooh, uh, moisturizers uh, by number seven night and day I think they're really great and here on this side are all my perfumes you see that I don't actually own a lot and if I'm honest I mainly use the Burberry one and um, the Chanel chance 
other than that i mostly forget to spray anyway and now i'm just gonna show you the drawer here luckily i tied it up before this video here it's just stuff that i don't want to display like my eyelashes these are all from house of lashes and here you see some of my cheaper eyelashes everyday eyelashes that i bought from ebay but this one is really good quality made by all bell and it comes in 10 pairs for like 13 pounds and sent from singapore <laughs> eyelid tape oh my god i use them sometimes because my eyelids are uneven so like one side is great and the other side is just always funny and this one is my mac travel brush set that i bought from ebay many many years ago um, i don't know if this is a real mac but seriously so far the quality is really really good like i like the brushes and they still alive this is my ooh, eyeshadow palette from lorek that i got from my friend for my birthday um, it has really great colors that i don't already own obviously apart from the black my everyday eyeshadow palette is this Too Faced matte eye. I mainly use the browns and the nudes here. As you can see, it's really used. And this here is my MAC um, eyeshadow palette that I bought a couple of months ago. And only about two weeks after I bought this, they reduced the price from £60 to £45. So £15 cheaper. And I wasn't really happy about it because I thought £60 was really expensive. So maybe that's the reason. I don't like this one as much. Um, but I just need to use it. Oh, I forgot this one. This is my Naked Urban Decay palette. I've got the second one as well. Not the third. But you can see here I haven't... I've used a lot at the beginning. But now that I have so many others, I tend not to use it anymore. And my sister has the other palette and we just swap around sometimes because um, you can see she actually uses different colors than me the uh, what is this one sidecar you see that she used the lighter colors or glittery things and I just use the darker warmer tones here so that's why there's no point us buying the same and also I buy her makeup so she has no say <laughs> and here I just have uh, my New powder, uh, bronzing powder in a medium 2 that I showed you earlier and I broke it probably. And this is the soft sand pressed powder. Another bottle of my foundation. That's mine is running out soon. And here is my stash of borrowed Costa tissues that I use to clean my brushes too. And here is just random stuff, just my cars that has nothing to do with makeup, blotting tissue because I have combination skin so my, my nose is really, really shiny sometimes. Tango Teaser uh, by Lulu Guinness. Um, I, bought it at, I bought this at the airport that was a bit cheaper. Here are all my clips and brushes. This one, the number 7 Beautiful Skin Quick Thinking Wipes is the best I've used so far. Not that I've used all of them but this one removes really everything. And oh, here you can see my beauty blender, which I love. It's so amazing. Everyone should have one. And um, I think that's it. That's all I've got to show you. Other than that, is there anything else? Just showing you my shelf. You see that? Uh, but first, coffee. That's what I do when I get up. Be like, hubby coffee <laughs> anyway um thank you so much for watching i hope you find this interesting i don't think i own a lot of makeup because i always try to use everything up before i try out something new or buy something new but obviously sometimes you buy wrong things and that's where i end up giving it to my sister to use um because i buy her makeup so that's fine i hope um i hope to see you in my next video bye